Hi, welcome to week two of biology. This is a quick video to go over what to expect this upcoming week. Uh, everything that's assigned for week two can be found in the session two folder under the course materials section. Uh, you're going to have two textbook reading chapters assigned, chapters three and four. You're also going to have a lab over the microscope and cell structure. So you'll need to get that lab completed, get the lab report turned in through Blackboard, or you can email it to the student grader. Uh, and then you'll need to take the lab quiz once you finish the lab report. The discussion this week is over cystic fibrosis, which is a genetic disorder. It's a disease that's uh, somewhat common in the United States. And because it's genetically based, uh, you can be a carrier for the disease. So the discussion will revolve around what causes the disease and kind of the implications of if you carry that gene um, that you could pass on to your child. The due date for all of the assignments this week is uh, Saturday, September 5th. Remember last week we didn't have any deadlines because it was the first week of class and I wanted y'all to kind of get, uh, get on schedule and get used to what to expect in the course. So really the deadline for both weeks one and two is this upcoming Saturday. You need to get that turned in by the end of the day on Saturday. That's the deadline. Remember I don't accept late work. So anything that's not turned in by that deadline you will get a zero on. Uh, I do drop the lowest discussion board grade, the lowest lab report grade, and the lowest quiz grade of the semester, but you really don't want to burn through those right here at the beginning, so make sure you get everything turned in. Uh, from this week going forward, you can expect that the due date for all of the assignments will be the Saturday that they are assigned. So you have deadlines each week. Whatever is assigned that week is going to be due no later than that Saturday. Remember, I do open up the session folder uh, really a week early. So if you need to work ahead, you can do that. If you need to work on Sunday, you certainly can do that. Um, you just need to plan on working the Sunday at the beginning of the week for those assignments rather than waiting until obviously the end of the week because that will be after the deadline. Um, but you can do that if you need to. So those assignments are available to you. Uh, a quick note, your first exam is coming up next week. It's going to be over chapters 1 through 5. So the chapters that you read for last week, the chapters for this week, and then chapter 5 is next week. Uh, so that's your first exam. Uh, it will be multiple choice, true, false, um, those sorts of questions. There will be some review videos posted under next week's Instructor Insight section. So you might want to look through those as you prepare for the exam. And then if you have any questions as you're studying, email those to me. I will get those questions um, posted anonymously, of course, but the questions posted and the responses to those questions uh, under next week's Instructor Insight section. So that way all the students can kind of see any questions that have come in. Because typically if you have a question, someone else has the same question. So I want to make sure everybody has access to those answers. Uh, I did enjoy reading your discussion board posts from this past week. That was a lot of fun getting to know you guys. So I think we're going to have a good semester. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to the upcoming weeks. I think we'll, we'll have a good time. As always, I'm available via email for any questions or consultations or anything along those lines. And uh, I will see you next week with next week's video. Thanks.